Hello everyone and welcome to another weekly BitLife challenge. I recently tried this week's challenge and I realized that there was another easier way to do it. So before I finish the last step, I am actually going to show you guys the easier way I figured out. So we're just going to try again as Olivia. So basically you had to be born in New Orleans because as you can see here, you have to be born a female in Louisiana, unalive your mother at age 23, go to prison for 10 years, write a memoir after leaving prison, and marry someone within two years of leaving prison. And this is the Pushing Roses Challenge. So I do want to apologize that it took me a while to get this video out because my OBS that I used to record videos was just not working. I had to wait an hour to update my computer. I had to change a bunch of settings because everything was just messed up. So it did take me a while to get to this, but I'm going to show you guys now the easier way. So I did have my self be born with crime as my special talent and I made the mistake the first time of trying to get famous first because I realized that after being in prison for 10 years you lose your fame and that's what happened to me and I had to work so hard to get it back with a second job so the plan with this is you unalive your mother at 23 you go to prison for 10 years for something else than the unaliving because the unaliving you'll get like life in prison you don't want that you want to get away with the unaliving and then you want to do something else that'll cause you to go to prison for 10 years then get a job as a writer because after going to prison you can become a writer then be a famous writer then you can release a memoir by writing a book and then obviously within that two years of leaving prison you have to marry someone so this challenge is very actually easy very easy so i'm just going to age this out until i'm 18. one thing you want to make sure is if you're getting the writer career that you have 100 percent smarts so when we're old enough we're going to read some good old books that are going to increase our smarts and we'll be good well i was only sick for a week but my cough has lingered and my cough is finally gone but my voice is still recovering you guys can hear that i'm still I still sound very raspy and stuff. Okay, we're in high school. I'm gonna keep reading books. I wanna get us to 100% smarts. Okay, we passed our driver's test. So I'm gonna accept the cart and I am going to sell it, of course. And I'm going to join the book club too. So we technically don't have to go to university, but since we're 18, and we have to wait till we're 23 anyways. I'm just gonna go to university for English because or else we're literally just gonna do nothing. I decided to go for journalism. Why not? Writing, you know what I mean? And I have a scholarship. Okay, we've graduated. And now I'm just gonna age one more year. And now is the time we're gonna do the unaliving. And this is sad, but we're gonna poison. Passed away. We're gonna skip it. I'm sorry. <laughs> and now in the same year, I'm gonna try and get arrested for something else now. So I'm just gonna try burglary. Hopefully we get caught. Okay, we were caught. Run for it. Hopefully that makes our sentence longer. Uh, public defender, let's do guilty. So our sentence is three years in prison. So now I'm gonna try bribing the guards. It was unsuccessful. Hopefully that extends our stay. Let's see if I can escape now. And that extends it by two years, so that's six. Can I try bribing again? It was unsuccessful. That's seven years. Can I try again? Okay, it was successful, so never mind. Keep going. It was unsuccessful. Is that eight years, I think? There we go. That is officially 10 years. So now we're just gonna age this out. We've been released from prison and we've checked off the 10 years. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply for a random job. Um, apprentice grocer. I'm just applying for any job that'll take me, honestly. Um, all of them are rejecting me, it's fine. Okay, just so I look like a good dating prospect. So I'm now going to get a ring. I also stole some cars to make some money and I'm going to get a ring for my girlfriend. Let's do a $25,000 diamond ring because I'm a criminal. I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> so hopefully this makes her want to be with me. A field of tulips and she rejected me. Okay, well, I'm breaking up with her and I am just going the way I usually go. I hope she marries me. Oh, <gasps> she accepted. Yes. Okay, I can get married now. That took a while. Agree to sign up prenup, period. Oh my God, she has debt. Are you kidding? Well, we're selling the house. Don't care. Okay, all that's left now is I'm gonna quit my bartender job and I'm gonna become a writer. Yes, do you like to, do you prefer to be liked or write both? Sorry. So now I'm putting the maximum hours in, 54 hours a week. Your girl's going on the Mediterranean diet and I'm just gonna age this girl out. My wife died. Okay, she was older, but but it didn't uncheck. I got in another relationship with someone else right after and it didn't uncheck, so I think we're good. Dating Chloe Chavez, but when I wasn't dating someone right after she died, it was unchecked. So date someone right after in case your spouse does die. Okay, officially famous author. And now can I write a memoir? No. Okay, my girlfriend proposed, that's fine. I am going to join social media now, so I do have a lot of fame. Once my fame's high enough, then I'll be able to write a book. Oh, let's see. The Life and Times of Olivia Williams, period. 
We completed it. <laughs> so you need at least half your fame to be able to write a book, apparently. So I finished 879th in the world. And yeah, let's see what we get for our mystery prize. We got some more sunglasses. You just have to write a book, I guess, with your name in it. So yeah, there you guys go. That is this week's challenge. And I'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.